All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays. Um, today we're going to be doing a video on uh, patch 1.10. Um, if you guys follow me, you would know that I've done a video about this. I think it was like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. I would said that um, patch 1.10 will be uh, sent to the App Store on August 5th. And it should be out in a week or two. So we we got lucky. It only took like two days um, to come out. No, three days, sorry. So it took three days to come out. So as I said that... Um, you would get a new faction, which is the dwarves. Uh, right now, they are underwhelming. So it says new faction is the dwarves from uh, deep within the unforgiving mountains of Teleria. So we have a mountain king. He's a legendary. He looks like we will review this after. Yeah, we got some dwarves. That's not all of them. They're probably saving the good dwarves uh, for a future update when they release more champions. And it says to celebrate the arrival. The, we're doubling the chances of summoning dwarves for all types of shards. We're calling it double dwarf time. So I would not waste any of your uh, shards on this. It's going to be a uh, three-day event. I say be fast, but no, don't waste your shards on this. Um, they are pretty underwhelming. Um, there is a good void dwarf. His name is Bulwark. We'll go over them later. Let's see what else they have. We have feature changes. We have new tournaments. Uh, there will be three new tournaments that are coming to Teleria. Uh, the Fire Knight Tournament, the Dragon Tournament. The Dragon Tournament, I think, is good because, I mean, it has good um, drops for the Dragon. It has lifesteal, uh, speed, things like that, accuracy. So it's good to run it because you'll actually get uh, good artifacts from there. Same with the Spider Tournament. I think that would be good, but um, I wouldn't go all-in. So your goal should not be uh, to get the highest score in your uh, standing. So that should not be the goal. Just, like, do it as a like, bonus. You get something. So you win artifacts or sizes by raiding those dungeon locations. Yeah, we know how tournaments work get points and win rewards what i don't like here is this is <laughs> they say keep an eye open they might start at any moment so i don't know if they do not know the date when they will start and they're just doing that so yeah they, i guess uh in any moment a uh, new clan boss update so there's ultra nightmare mode um i stated that in my um patch 1.10 video uh that there would be a new difficulty in the clan boss and as well as new clan boss chests and we've also rebalanced our wars for old difficulties so hopefully they did not nerf the rewards for clan boss because that would be terrible because clan boss was actually a way to get sacred shards as well free sacred shards uh any affinity dungeon can now be open for 24 hours with gems i don't i don't like that i mean i like that they have the option but they're charging uh 200 gems to open it up for 24 hours um personally i think that they should have done every sunday they should have every single um affinity dungeon open i think a lot of games do that i think on weekends they give people the option to run any anything that they want, like one of the dungeons are specific. Uh, the drop rate for epic and legendary champions from voice shards has been increased. Now the rates are exactly the same as ancient shards, so that is good news. Uh, they did some balance changes for some champions. Um, Alton increased the chance of placing the decreased attack debuff from 25 to 60%. He's a legendary, I think that should have been uh, higher than 60%. Astrolith um, added an aura skill, increased speed of all allies by 28% in the arena. Uh, that is very good. Uh, now boost, boost turn meter of all allies if the attack is critical. Her skill 1. That is very good actually. Uh, skill 3 judgment. Now gains an extra turn and decreases the cooldown of the skill by 3 turns. The champion's HP is lower than 20% after the exchange. Yeah, she seems like she got um, much better. Now she places 2 bombs that detonate after 1 turn instead of 2. Uh, Baron. Skill 3 is righteous charge. Uh, damage increases per buff has been decreased. So he got nerfed I guess. Dracomorph. So Dracomorph, I've heard that he is very, very powerful now. Uh, now damage increases by 10% for each debuff on the target. So he's a poison uh, champion. And now he places 4 hits. It used to be 3 hits. And now places the poison debuff with 100% chance for 3 turns. It used to be 2 turns. So this guy got a huge buff. And he also plays a 60% decrease defense debuff instead of 30%. So yeah, so this guy is going to be crazy in clan boss. If you guys have him, I would uh, invest in him. Hopefully they do not uh, re-nerf him. I don't know, re rework him. Hopefully they don't do that. Uh Raglan, he decreases the his skill one, repent decreased multiplier. Now plays three hits and fills the turn of one ally on each hit. Selects a new ally each time. Skill two mercy. Increase multiplier, decrease cooldown from five turns to four turns. Uh miracle decrease cooldown from, from seven turns to three turns. So Tomb Lord, I have Tomb Lord. So uh, there's this video floating around of Tomb Lord <laughs> dominating in spiders then. So his rework skill two now places two poison debuffs instead of three. So that went down. Oh, the Ascended version, hit is critical, it plays with four poison debuffs. 
It no longer always lands a as a critical hit. Uh, skill 3, Blight, now gains the extra turn if an enemy's terminator is fully reset by the skill. So this is, <laughs> this is already his beast in Spider's Den. <laughs> See, I think I have the video. Uh, let's go down. Somebody posted it over here. I think it was on 5. Okay, right here. Who is this guy? Bootcraft. Shout out, man. So Bootcraft posted this video of uh, Tomb Lord and Spider 20. I don't know why he wrote Thanos on there. <laughs> so he's still running a very good team with him, but look at this. Where's two more? Two more is right here. Okay, when's it two more's turn? See all that decrease attack, decrease defense. Guys, an extra turn. Decreases turn meter, ignores defense. See how, how many times he keeps going? <laughs> That's hilarious, man. So is, it, is he going to keep going the whole time? No, he's not. So hopefully this guy does not get uh, re-reworked. Re-reworked? <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Yeah, so look at this, man. This guy's crazy. Let's go to the end. Okay, two more did 5.4 million damage, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Bootcraft, you crazy guy, man. Shout out to uh, Bootcraft. Thank you for uh, posting that video. But yeah, two more already got a huge buff. But he's much stronger than before. Uh, we'll come back to this page after. I don't like reading off this. The way that they uh, did it is not that good. So we're going to go back to the game. Uh, so Valkyrie's decreased cooldowns from 6 turns and 4 turns. I thought Valkyrie was already good, so I don't know why she got uh, buffed again. Well, not again, but she got buffed. Faceless uh, increases increase multiplier. Durang decreased cooldown from five to four turns. Um, Seer's uh, skill three now also has a fifty percent chance of placing sleep debuff on all enemies for one turn, and the chance of placing a sleep debuff increases by five percent for each bu buff removed, and inflicts less damage to bosses. Uh, Terror Beast now attacks twice at random and now places a thirty percent reflect damage buff on all allies for three turns. Now plays a stun debuff for two turns if the target survives. Um, uh, Virgus, changed, changed effect and chance now has a 40% chance of placing a 30% reflect buff. Reflect damage buff on a random ally for two turns. It used to be decreased accuracy. I guess reflect damage is better, I'm not sure. Um, skill 2, duration of existing buffs prolonged and new effects added. Now plays a 15% continuous heal buff and a 15% increased speed buff. And a 30% reflect damage buff and 50% ally protection buff on a target ally for 3 turns. That is very good, man. Uh, Steel Boyer. So Steel Boyer, unfortunately, uh, rest in peace uh, to Steel Boyer. She's um, not usable anymore. So her skill 3, um, they increased her cooldown. Now she hits once. It used to be 3 hits. So um, that is a huge nerf for Steel Boyer. So hope. I mean, they should be giving everybody. They should be giving everybody's uh, things that they use in the game back. There's some everybody's resources back. But, uh, most likely, they won't be doing that. Fortunately, uh, they made some game experience enhancements. Uh, UI fixes to all events, and the way event points are displayed in the artifact enhancement event has also been adjusted. Artifact enhancement. Oh, you know what that means? Artifact enhancement event is still. Um, they're still gonna do the artifact enhancement event. Uh, Updated artifact drop rate in the following dungeons: Spider's Den, Dragon's Lair, Fire Nice Castle, Ice Columns Peak. So we have a higher chance of getting the artifacts instead of uh, brews and uh, shards. Honestly, I don't mind ancient shards though. Multi battle changes. Your team, your team's leader will now remain in the team even if they reach max level. Uh, we've also updated the UI. I never had an issue with that, honestly. Uh, let me know if you guys had any issues with the multi battle with the leader. Uh, we added the option to destroy artifacts. You can now destroy. <laughs> Already equipped artifacts for free. It should be free. <laughs> uh, the referral program. Um, yeah, we're not going to get into that. Because my referral. I always have issues with the referral program. Where it doesn't actually work for me. Uh, Shaman, Jizo, High Katoon, Yaga the Insatiable, and Dark Aethel can no longer be summoned from the Sacred Shards. So no more of those memes where you, <laughs> where you summon, use your Sacred Shard and you get Shaman. Uh, yeah, so if you guys do not like this update. Make sure you guys let them know. Because they actually say um, if you do or if you don't. Jump over to our forums and tell us about it if you like the update or not. Alright, so that's it for uh, the patch notes for patch 1.10. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. And if you guys um, enjoyed watching the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I make great shallow content almost every single day. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.